Okay, so I'm going to use geometry to represent some very basic relationships between whole numbers. So here we have this white line and these red circles. And you see these red circles go through this white line at different points. So let's imagine these points are numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay. Now let's put some circles down which are twice as big. So these blue circles here, they cut through this white line every two units. So they cut through it at the whole numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So these blue circles are sort of representing even numbers in the place where they're cutting the line. Now let's add some green circles which cut the line at every third whole number. So they cut it at 0, 3, 6, 9 and so on. Let's put some more circles cutting the line at every fourth number. 0, 4, 8 and so on. We'll keep adding circles and you see we get this rather interesting pattern. Now this is looking up to the numbers up to 10, but to extend, let's now go up to 100 and we shall look at the circles generated by everything up to 50. And you see it starts to get very elaborate, perhaps too elaborate for us to see. Let's have a look at We'll go up to 50 and 25 here. Okay, so you see the red circles here are just cutting this white line at our integers. And then our even numbers getting selected by these blue circles. But there's the multiples of 3, the multiples of 4, and so on. So. The, the, I think there's a lot of interesting things here. One interesting thing is how you can basically represent most of the things you'll do with arithmetic with whole numbers in terms of this diagram. So let's say you wanted to do 7 times 6. Well, you find the family of circles corresponding to 7, and then you go 6 hops to the right along that kind of arc. That's one way you can visualize it. Of course, division can be visualized as the inverse and another very interesting thing is that these circles are crossing this this white line here that means we're writing our whole integers as one integer times another but um, if you look at where these circles are crossing the line you'll see that there are certain numbers uh, for example 24 where lots of different circles cross it because 24 has lots of factors but there are other numbers like 19 which is prime and the only factors it has is one in itself at a prime numbers by looking at this type of picture but i think also using circles i'm not sure if anyone's really studied this pattern made out of circles in particular before they probably have but I think it's also an interesting question where these circles 